Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ali and we are back here once again with, yes, you guessed it, another unboxing. Here we have our subscription for BoxyCharm. This box here is for the month of May. Um, this is on their website says $21 a month, but I have been getting charged $23. I'm assuming because of the whole ch tax change thing that has been happening with the you know the different states um so i pay 23 dollars a month but you know what that's totally fine for me because within this box you are um assured to get at least 100 dollars worth of products in here you do get i believe it's four to five products a month and the um the best part about it is that they are full size so you will not get your little tiny deluxe size samples. You will get full size products of everything that is in here. That's why the value is so high. And for $23, I think that's a total bargain. Um, so let's see what we get inside for this month. Again, this is for the month of May. Before I open it up, I was just able to break the seal down here. I wanted to show you guys for this month, um, they went ahead and changed the shape and size of the box a little bit. Um, so this is what the previous box looked like. If you put them side to side, you can see the difference. I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent change or if they just went ahead and did this for whatever products um, we have inside here just so they can fit. Um, as far as the length, the one in the current month is a little bit longer. You can see down at the bottom. But as far as, um, you know, the width, this one is obviously way wider. But then here... Um, this box has more space as far as the height. This one's a little bit thinner. So let's see what, what they what they plan on doing here with these boxes. Um, so once you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. We can already see our first product here. Have our little pamphlet. And the theme for this one is uh, make waves. Um, usually they have a theme per every month. And then they try to coordinate, um, you know, whatever products you get inside so they can kind of, you know, fall within that same theme. Let's see what we get for this theme in this box. So like we saw, our first product was already um, this Glam Glow uh, Facial Cleanser. It is the Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Um, they have pretty cool packaging. Um, I had seen a few spoilers uh, from you know the items that you can get in your box this was one of them and i believe the other one was a moisturizer most likely like a water gel moisturizer i think that's what i read um i honestly think i would have preferred that one over this cleanser because i do have um a lot of cleansers already um so i'm not sure if i'm ex if i'm going to keep this one or if i'm gonna pass it on to somebody you know that can use it oh you can't you can't open it Oh, it doesn't have a seal. I'm not getting a scent. So, and it looks like it's like a creamy, pearlish color looking. So, I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm going to, I'm just going to think about it. I'm going to think about whether to keep it or not. So, this is our first product here. Let's see what our second product is. Ooh, okay. So, this is our next product. It is uh, from Dose of Colors. And it looks like it is a liquid lipstick. I really like their products. Um, I do own um, a few of their li liquid lipsticks. And they are very long lasting. So um, this is the one that I got here. It looks like it is a nudish pink. Um, according to our little sticker here, this is in the color Truffle. Um, let's see what it looks like. So let's see here. Ooh, that is a very pretty color. I'm really liking this color. I'm already happy with my box, even though our first product wasn't such a huge hit. I really like the color of this one here. And like I said, I already know that their products are good, so I know I'm getting something really good here. And if I remember correctly, MSRP on this is $18. So that is almost the total value of what I paid for the box. So it's already, it's already done. So, but we still have more things to go. Let's see what else we have inside. Our next item here is from Ciate London, and it is an eye luster cream eyeshadow. This is what the outside packaging looks like. Um, I've never tried a uh, Ciate's eyeshadows, especially not their liquid eyeshadows. But this one looks very, very pretty. 
Um, it has like a lilac lavender hint to it. Um, it looks like it's very metallic. So let's see how this one swatches. Wow, that, okay, that is very pretty. Um, I, off of the top of my head, I can't really think of what I look I would do with this color here. It is very metallic. Um, it has a lot of like, depending on which way you move your hand, you, you get a lot of different tints to this color, but it is very, very pretty. Um, I'm gonna let this dry off, and then once it's completely dry, I'm gonna try to scratch it off, see if um, if anything comes off, if it crumbles, or if it just stays um, like that. But meanwhile, let's keep going into our box. Our next item here, it is a eyeliner from the company Bodyography, and it is in the color Emerald. That is it there. I'm not a big fan of getting um, eyeliners like this, especially with color in my boxes, because it's no, I know it's something I'm not really going to use. I actually can say I've never used a color um, eyeliner like this. Normally, I will go with black. If I use a different color, then it's usually brown. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't even know how I would use this one. I know these colors tend to look really, really nicely with people with colored eyes. It just kind of gives it that accent that like makes them pop. That's the color there. It is a very pretty color. I just don't know on myself. I don't know how I would use it. Um, I can try. I can, you know, try and come up with a look. But I think it's going to be a little bit on the harder side for me since I'm not too experienced. Um, but I won't give up. I will try it out. And our last product in our box is this here. It is from Alamar Cosmetics and it's a Colorit Blush Trio. They had been talking about this product um, on the spoilers. Alamar Cosmetics is not the first time that we receive something um, in our box from them because I believe um, one of the people that work within the BoxyCharm company is uh, owns this uh, brand. Um, so they have put in a different, I believe one palette, and then I want to say two sets of the brushes from this company, which are, are actually very, very nice. Um, so this one here, it is a blush palette. You get three different colors. Um, they are actually very nice colors. These two, I think they're a little bit too much on the orange side for me personally, but I really do like this one here in the center. Um, let me swatch them really quick see what they look like okay so these are the three colors here i don't know if they are too light for the camera but um i went ahead and swatched them here they are not super pigmented which is i think a good sign because i rather build color up rather than you know put it on my brush put it on my cheeks and then i look like a clown it's a little bit harder to take off the color once it's on your skin I rather have something like this that it's not crazy pigmented, but very, very nice. Um, like that, when you put it on, you can build up to the color that you want to get to. And it looks like um, they uh, will be able to, you know, get darker and darker. And, you know, depending on how much you want to put on, um, they will just keep building up until you reach, you know, whatever uh, intensity you would like. Um, but they are very, very soft. They are not a matte finish. They do have a little bit of a satin finish to them, which, I mean, I, I don't mind. I do like it when they give you that little bit of glow when you put your blush on. Um, it's more of a healthy glow, not like a like you went overboard with your highlighter. Um, they have a very, very nice finish. Again, they are very, very soft. They, they are super, super soft powders. Um, so... Out of the three colors, again, I, I really do just like the pinkier one. I do think the other two are a little bit too much on the orange side for me. Um, I really like the, the little stamp that they have here in the center. It's very, very deep, so it's going to be there for a while. Um, so this is our last product from our box. Um, I really like the products that we got in here. This one being one, even though I might only use one color, but that's okay um for what i paid for the box it's totally worth it um the other item that i did like is a dose of color liquid lipstick 
um, it is it here. Once it dries off, it looks like it gets a little bit darker than when you originally swatch it. I don't know if you guys uh, remember what it looked like in the beginning. Um, the one that item that I was not too happy about was, where did it go? Um, my colorful eyeliner. Here it is. This eyeliner, I'm not crazy about. I could have done without this. This one, I'm in, I'm in the fence about it. Um, I've Like I said, I've never used uh, one of their eyeshadows. So I don't know. And I mean, just the color itself. It's very different. It's very bright. It's very out there. Um, this is it here. It's already completely dry. Um, so this is me rubbing it. Um, it looks... I don't think it was completely, completely dry. It is moving around a little bit, but it is not coming off my hand. It's still pretty like stuck on there. So that's always a good sign. It does feel like it's going to be very long lasting. Um, so let's really quick get um, the prices for our, our, our products here. What is it burning your face? Oh my God, your hand. <sighs> Okay, before I start giving the full size prices, I just noticed I had originally tried to swatch colors here. It got all over my sweater. I didn't catch it right away. Now it's gone, but we can all move on. Um, so our first product here that we got in our box, it is this full size runs for $28. Our blush trio here um, from Alamar Cosmetics. It is $22. I don't know if I would pay $22 for this since, again, I only like one of the colors. But because it is within our box, I'm totally fine with it. Um, our next item, the Ciate London Eyeshadow. Um, MSRP for this one is $22. Um, I personally don't think I would pay $22 for this one here. Maybe if it was a different shade. Um, I'm, you know, this is not something I would normally pick up myself, um, but $22, obviously this one or any other shade within this, um, line would be $22 and our dose of color liquid lipstick MSRP, I was correct, $18. I, like I said, I've purchased it myself before. So this one here, it's totally awesome. I love this color. I'm very excited. Um, this is in my box and this is one that I would definitely use on a daily basis. And last but not least, we have our colorful eyeliner. Um, this one MSRP is $14. Um, so let me add these up really quick and I will give you guys a total in a moment. Okay, so after ad adding all of the prices up, the total price for this box is $104. Like I said, you are set to get at least $100 worth. This time, it just went $4 over that. It's not the highest it's been. Um, it's a pretty low value for the box, but then again, you only pay $23 for it, $21, or depending on what state you're on, if they have different taxes. Um, but I personally paid $23 for the box. I am not mad about that because I did get some pretty cool things. Um, and I know I will use them. And even if I don't use the products, like if I decide not to keep this one for myself, I know somebody will get really good use of this. And, you know, it's just value on top of value for the box. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, what what did you guys get? Did, you, did anybody get the uh, other um, variation of this one, which was the moisturizer, I believe it was? Um, what do you guys think of what I got here? Is it worth paying, you know, whatever we pay monthly for the box? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, thank you guys for coming here. That is all for today. I hope I will see you guys next time. Bye.